Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? My name is Ray, and we are still cruising along through Web3. But today, we're going to go and shine the light on what is Ethereum, right? Um, Ethereum was created in 2013 by Vitalik Buterin uh, to let anyone write smart contracts and decentralized applications. And you'll hear they're called dApps. People will say dApps, D-A-P-P-S. Those are decentralized applications. So how does Ethereum work, right? Because that's, uh, like I said, it's it's when, when you get into this space, you start seeing that this is where everybody's building. You hear things like, and we talked about in previous videos, layer one, layer twos. There are other blockchains, but most everyone uh, builds on Ethereum because this, this is the most uh, substantial blockchain, most traffic, most people are using the Ethereum blockchain, but there are others, right? There are others out there. As of June 2022, Ethereum is the second most popular cryptocurrency. Like Bitcoin, it's built on a, the blockchain. It's built on its own blockchain and it's decentralized, immutable and open. Unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum's goal is to become the world's decentralized computer. Okay, they're called EVMs or Ethereum Virtual Machine. To understand what that even means, let's define some of the following Ethereum definitions. Okay, we're going to go through some of that stuff because again, when you're working and, and dealing with stuff over here, it is like a foreign language. So we're going to go through some of those. Ether. Ether is Ethereum's digital token. Ether is a store of value like Bitcoin, but its main purpose is to reward nodes on the Ethereum blockchain for processing transactions. Gas is the amount of Ether that's paid to a node to process the transaction. Smart contracts are code that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. This code is decentralized, stored across all nodes in the network, immutable, can't be changed once you're committed to the blockchain and an open anyone can view the code and use it they're also decentralized apps we talked about that previously they're dapps decentralized applications combine a back-end smart contract with front-end ui okay that's kind of some of the definitions that you'll see in this space um Another thing, Ethereum has the largest Web3 developer ecosystem thanks to its composability. Like Legos, anyone can build on an existing smart contract to create something new. This has led to the creation of thousands of dApps that power this Web3 use cases, right, in, in this, on this blockchain. Buying and selling NFTs on OpenSea. That's something that you're seeing, hearing about a lot now, NFTs. Most of these NFT projects, they use, uh, you know, Ethereum blockchain. There are some use Polygon. Like I said, there's a lot of others, but this is where the majority of everything is. Buying and selling NFTs on OpenSea. Swapping tokens like Uniswap. That is a DEX. That is a decentralized exchange. That is what Uniswap is. Pretty large project. But that is a layer two project built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. It is a decentralized exchange. Lending and borrowing tokens, a company called Compound. If you look them up, that is what they do. That is what their project does on top of a layer. It's a layer two on top of Ethereum. Earning income from playing games. Most popular one you've probably heard of if you're looking in and, and doing some research in this space. Axie Infinity, right? It's a big, huge game in this space that uh, people are actually making a pretty good income playing a game. Due to Ethereum's popularity, it costs a lot in gas to process transactions. We'll cover how to pay less gas using Ethereum, right? L2 chains, we talked about that again in the previous video, and other L1 chains later in this learning path that we're going through. So another thing I want to go through is the history of Ethereum. 
2013, Vitalik Buterin published the Ethereum white paper. After failing to convince the Bitcoin community to support decentralized apps on Bitcoin, Vitalik co-funded Ethereum as a new cryptocurrency. 2014-2015, Ether officially went on sale. People could buy it with Bitcoin. 2016, the Dow raises $150 million to provide a new decentralized business model for organizing companies. Unfortunately, hackers were able to use an exploit to steal one-third of the Dow's funds. This led to Ethereum doing a hard fork to restore lost funds. Let's fast forward to 2020. Ethereum ships the Beacon chain as, as part of its ETH 2.0 plan to migrate from proof of work to proof of stake. The foundation plans to merge the main Ethereum chain to staking sometime in 2022. And, you know, we're thinking, I think now it might be more close back to September because there have been some other things that are delaying this. So now that we covered Bitcoin and Ethereum, let's take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. And that's what we're going to do in some of these next videos. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a good one. See you in the next video.